you've already used return to return a value from a method. But return and the similar break can also be used to escape from loops. However, this is poor programming practice. It is best practice to avoid using break and return in loops wherever possible. Instead of using break as you will in this lesson, it would be better to use a simple if statement. The reason that this is best practice is because methods are expected to run from beginning to end through a logical process. Exiting in the middle of that process makes your code harder to understand. It's still important to recognize break and return, since not all programmers will stick to that standard. In this lesson, you'll use break and return to escape from a loop. To begin, open the My Project sample file from your sample files folder. And open calculatorfunctions.cs We are now going to use break to make the add to numbers method stop iterating when it encounters a value of 17. Using break, you can exit out of a loop without exiting the method. Add the following code immediately after the first curly bracket of the for loop. If numbers counter equals equals 17, break. This is a simple if statement that checks if the current item in the numbers collection has a value of 17. When this value is encountered, it exits the for loop by using break. View calculator.aspx in your browser now, and click the second button. This time, you see a total of 174, rather than the 194 you saw previously. This is because your loop stops when it encounters the value of 17. So instead of 12 plus 10 plus 17 plus 10 plus 135 plus 10 equals 194, you're seeing 12 plus 10 plus 17 plus 135 equals 174. Close your web browser now. Next, we're going to make the addToNumbers method perform an operation after exiting the for loop. Add the following code to the end of the addToNumbers method outside the for loop's curly brackets. Numbers 0 equals numbers 0 plus 999. View calculator.aspx in your browser again, and click the second button. This time, you can see that the total comes to 1173. Your calculation is now 12 plus 10 plus 17 plus 135 plus 999. Although your break keyword exited from the for loop, it didn't exit the method. This meant that the code after the for loop was still executed. Close your web browser now. We're now going to change your break into return. As you might have guessed, return will exit the entire method, rather than just exiting the loop.
view calculator.aspx in your browser once more, and click the button. As you can see, the total is now 174, just as it was earlier in this lesson. The method terminated when return was encountered in your code, so the line that added 999 was never reached. Break and return can be used in the same way in a foreach or while loop. You've now completed Lesson 8-5. Use break and return.